Hey there, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I pack my Travel Pro Max Light Spinner. This was a requested video and I love packing and preparing for travel almost as much as I love actually traveling. So I'm excited to show you how I pack my Travel Pro Max Light Spinner in the color Dusty Rose. Okay. So really there's not a whole lot to it, but the secret to my success in packing is these packing cubes. I feel like any packing cube would do the ones that I love are from eBags. So I really like the eBags packing cubes the best. This set comes in three different sizes. This is the small, the medium, and then there is a larger um, size cube that came in this set, but I only use the small and the medium. So I like also to choose a print as opposed to a solid color because I feel like it will stand out more in kind of a sea of clothes and it also um, doesn't get as dirty as quickly. So that's why I like these in particular. Um, these, one, these cubes as well are super durable. I've had this version for like five years. They still make them, and I'll leave a link in the description box below if I can find it. Um, they're, so they're very good quality and you can launder them just as you would any other piece of clothing. So this is how I really keep myself organized when I'm packing for a trip. So this particular trip that I'm packing for is about four days long. It is four days long. So I feel like this is a good amount of clothes to take. Um, I kind of go back and forth between packing too much and not enough. So this is, I feel, a good amount. So my day clothes and anything I'm wearing that's not sleepwear goes in this large cube here. So I just throw that in. And then my night clothes and underclothes go in this smaller cube here that in like that. Then I'll show you what else I'm bringing so you can kind of have an idea what else I bring. So I have my outfit that I'm wearing on the plane and that is with the larger shoes. I'm going to an area um, that's not super um, cold so I can wear sandals for the whole trip. Um, and these are my day sandals the sort of the thinner flip-flop. These are from Chacos and I really like them. They're my first pair and they're not like the typical Chacos because they have a very, very low profile and they don't have giant straps. Um, they This style is discontinued. It's called the Back River, I think. Um, very comfortable and I really like them. They're better and a little bit more dressy than flip-flops so I can wear them sort of out to, um, I wouldn't wear them to dinner, but I could if I wanted to and I have. So I put these in my bag because they are the smallest pair of shoes that I'll be taking. So I put them in a plastic bag just to keep them from getting anything else in my suitcase dirty. So I put those in the bottom. Then I also have a pair of Fit Kicks and I love these because these double as like slippers around the hotel room as well as um, like sneakers for workout wear. I wear these in the gym as well. I've taken these on several trips and used them as a substitute for sneakers. I've run outside, I've run on the sand, I've run on pavement, as well as um, in the gym. And the good thing about the bottom is you can just wipe them off and they're good to go. So these were, uh, these were really great. I think these were $20 and again, still made. Very, very useful. I put these also in a plastic bag to keep them separate from the rest of my clothes and then I add them to the suitcase. Then I have my toiletries, the cosmetics and sort of bathroom essentials. I will keep these separate. Um, I will use this in the morning and then I add that in the morning after I get ready. So just so I'm prepared and have enough space for them, I add them as well. Then I have sort of some remaining pieces. I carry a laundry bag just so I can keep my clean clothes separate from my already worn clothes. Put those in this little zip compartment here. I have my mask collection, which I take with me everywhere just because. Then I have a nighttime bag for going out to dinner. It's always nice to be able to put your stuff in something else, stuff like this. And then I have a tote bag, like a traveling tote bag that I can use either as a beach bag or if we get groceries and bring them back to the hotel, I can use that. So I'm gonna take that. 
and last I have a swimsuit. So all of that fits very easily in the zip compartment. And then very simply, I actually have a lot of room, which is great. Uh, cinch the straps across the top like that. And this will do me for a four to five day trip easily. Zip around just like that. And you can see I have tons of extra room here for anything else that might come up that I see that I want to kind of toss in last minute. This is fully zipped. It does also expand if I wanted to make the suitcase bigger. It has a full um, expandable side like this. There's also a top pocket right here that has a zip, a top zip pocket at the top. And then a zip around pocket here, which sometimes I will put a laptop in if I don't have space in my personal item. And that's how I pack the Travel Pro Max Light Spinner in the color Dusty Rose. So if you're interested to see how I pack my personal item, that's a little bit separate. So this is a tote that I bought to go with the set, also in Dusty Rose and it would go right over the top of the handle like this. So that's the matching piece that would come with it. I actually don't use this piece as much. I don't use this piece as much because I'm kind of more of a fan of a backpack now, just that's where I am. Um, so I will ta be taking that one and I'll show you actually how I pack that as well. But in my review of this Travel Pro suitcase, Someone had asked a question about looking for the bag that hangs off of this, not the one that sits over the rollerboard. So it would go, this tote is designed to sit like this over the top handle, but I think this person was asking about the piece of luggage that sits like this. And I think what you can do with this, I haven't tried it because I just haven't um, needed to, what you can do is buy a piece like an adapter that hooks right over this um, handle. It's like a hook and you just hang whatever carry on you want. It doesn't have to be the travel pro brand. But you can just hang it over the top and then kind of go through. So this isn't flopping off over the top or whatever carry on you use isn't flopping off over the top. So that's what I think I've seen like stewardesses, um, flight crew and pilots use. So I hope that helps. It probably doesn't, but that's what I've seen. It's just a little adapter that will let you hang any bag um, from the top handle. So for my carry-on or my personal item, I take this backpack. This is the Fjall Robin Konkin backpack with the laptop sleeve. And I am actually surprised at the amount of use I've gotten out of this because it's very, uh, at first glance, you wouldn't think that it is super, um, Roomy, it's not very roomy at all. It's just very well structured, so it makes the most of all the space that it has. And because it is a, a bit smaller and a bit lower profile, I like it because it doesn't take up um, a lot of space on the plane. So, so I'm not, I don't feel like I'm cramming it anywhere. It just fits very, very nicely. So what I have in this is my work laptop in the back pocket and I'll pack my personal laptop in the front. I always, I always carry a legal pad, um, some pens, handy wipes for everything, um, all my cords and chargers, and I still use a, a mouse, a corded mouse. And then this is my travel pouch of essentials with things like my wallet, my passport, and my um, toiletries case for in the flight. So I'll probably add a book and a notebook and be good to go. And the thing with this is I love leaving a little bit of extra room and not feeling like I'm cramming it full of things. I like having a little bit of space. I feel like it's a luxury to have a little space. So that's something else I really like about this. Um, I can't even say I recommend it, but it served me well. And it seems like it should be all wrong, but I love it. I guess two drawbacks I would say to this backpack, if you're considering it. Number one are the fabric. It does tend to attract dust um, and lint. And if I had a pet, it would probably attract pet hair. It also doesn't have side pockets for water bottles, which is something that is really disappointing to me because I love, I, I carry a water bottle. I, I carry it through security empty and then I fill it up when I get to my gate but these side pockets are just not big enough for really much of anything. 
What I carry in here is a little bottle of Febreze because you can never go wrong with Febreze fabric refresher. And I'll probably put, I'm looking for it. It's a, like a little lint roller as well, which I mainly use for the bag. So don't know if I'd recommend this backpack as much, but it served me well. And for some reason, I really enjoy it for travel. I'm kind of on the hunt for a new one. Uh, but again, this has served me very well thus far. And I just love, it just looks really cute. So what can I say? So that's how I pack, namely my Travel Pro um, Max Light Spinner that I love and I've had for several years. I take in both internationally and domestic, road trips, plane trips, car trips, you name it, I've taken this. It served me well. Um, and then my backpack, my uh, comfy backpack for travel. So I hope this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks again for watching.